Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Achieve Your Apex podcast. Chad Himes here, author and host of the podcast for you. We have been going chapter by chapter, idea after idea from my best-selling book on the podcast. And now and then I'm bringing in some great people for you to hear their story and get a tip from them on how to achieve your apex. If you are a listener and you've got a tip, a suggestion you want to share, reach out to me. You can just go to chadhimes.com. My last name, if you don't know it, is H. Yams. That's how it's spelled. I don't like them. I don't need them. Yet they're in the spelling of my name. Chadhimes.com. You can reach out. You connect with me there. If you have a tip and a suggestion and you want to be a guest on this podcast, let me know. You can be a little selfish and say, I want to be featured on the Achieve Your Apex podcast, which segues me perfectly into today's topic because we're on to chapter seven. That's right. Chapter seven is here and it's being appropriately selfish. Now calm down for a minute because we hear that word and we immediately go, hmm, no way, not me. I'm not selfish. I take care of other people. I put others before me. Okay, then you're a doormat. What you have to understand is there is a balance between selfish and selfless. And we have to remember that being selfish is not a bad thing. Let's look at the definition of the word selfish, okay? Because we hear negativity when we hear the word selfish. Selfish is defined as seeking or concentrating on one's own advantage, pleasure, or well-being without regard for others. Now, did you notice I put a pause in there? So let's break it down into two parts. The first part is seeking or concentrating on one's own advantage, pleasure, or well-being. That sounds negative. Sure it does. It means I'm looking for an advantage. I'm looking for my pleasure. I'm looking to worry about my well-being. When we continue the whole thing, we understand that the selfish means without regard for others. Yet what if we put a break there and stop the definition and just made it seeking or concentrating on one's own advantage, pleasure, or well-being? That doesn't mean we have to walk over other people to get there. That doesn't mean we have to do it without regard for others, as the definition says. We can put ourselves in a position where we work for an advantage. We should. Think about the people in your world that you think of as a success. Now, you have specific people. It might be a parent. It might be a friend who runs a business. It might be somebody that you know through a community or however you know them. I'm going to go with some bigger thinking people. Like, let's take Elon Musk. Let's take Jeff Bezos. Let's take Steve Jobs. Let's take Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. Anybody that is a success and start to think about it. Do they take an advantage when they can? Yes. Kobe was in the gym before everybody, after everybody, right? These other businesses took opportunities that were there for them for success. They had what we would consider laser focus because it worked out. They got selfish at the appropriate time. Now, during the next few episodes, we're going to dive into what I believe the six areas of selfishness that are encouraged to have in your world. And we're going to take two at a time. So let's start with number one, and that's being selfish while leading others. That's not without regard for other people. That's literally while leading other people. And what we need to do is understand that there are people out there, oh, I don't know, like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, who I just mentioned, that will literally put people on their back. They will be selfish and say, give me the ball. I'm going to help us turn this game around. Give me the ball. I'm going to make the shot to win us all the championship. Give me the ball. I'm selfish. Give me the ball. But it's going to make you better because I'm going to help you to win along the way. I'm going to help you to achieve your goals along the way because I'm being selfish and saying, give me the ball. 
We hear it all the time in the world of sports that it comes to that. What about being selfish as the leader in your organization? When you're just growing an organization, specifically just starting, don't you need to be the one who makes the decisions? That's selfish. Maybe everybody else is like, well, why don't you include us in the decisions? Because it's my business. It's my opportunity. I have to be selfish and say, I don't need a committee to decide this answer. I need to know the decision that needs to be made and put us on that path for the advantage. I'm not saying I'm disregarding the rest of you in my world. I'm saying, come with me. This is the decision that needs to be made. How many times? Simple question. How many times do you and a partner, friend, whatever, say, you want to go get dinner tonight? You want to get lunch today? And then the question immediately after it is, well, where do you want to go? I don't know. Where do you want to go? Well, where do you think we should go? Someone needs to be selfish and say, I want to go here because health matters. And I want to make these healthy decisions that I know will be at that restaurant opportunity. Okay. You're selfish in ways you don't pay attention to and it's okay. Now, if leading others is one way to be selfish, seeking support is another time we should be selfish. It's like the opposite end of that coin, right? Leading and seeking support. We have to understand that we have to be selfish and find the answers we need. Someone like Elon Musk, who I mentioned earlier, right? He actively seeks mentorship from other people because he wants to figure out how do I do this? You can be sure people like Jeff Bezos, Steve Jobs, the successful business owner near you have reached out to people who were ahead of them and said, I need to know this and I'm coming to you to find out. They were selfish. They went out there. They didn't say, hey, everybody, let's go ask this person. They said, I'm going to get this information. Now, of course, in the book, Achieve Your Apex, I also show you how this works with apex predators. Think about the fact that there is no apex predator out there that doesn't start as a baby and looks to its parents for support. It is selfish. It does not care about its sibling. Now, I'm not saying if you have brothers and sisters, you should step all over them. In the world of nature, it does happen though. The cubs fight with each other because one wants to become the dominant sibling. Because that sibling is the one that usually grows up to lead the pack. That sibling is the one that takes the opportunities that are ahead of them. And it's okay to be selfish and say, I want to learn. I will show you the path to follow. We don't have to do it while forgetting about the other people that come along. In this case, selfish is a great thing. Go out there and be a little selfish. And remember, Keep climbing.